Making violins is incredibly time consuming and a lot of hard work. So over here we have a bunch of our hand tools, our gouges. It starts out just from chunks of wood, just like this. The fascinating thing about violins is not only are they a work of art in themselves, but they're a tool on which more art is made. I came to UNM to study cello, but when I met the cello professor from here, David Sheps, um, and told him of my interest in violin making, he said, oh, there's a class at UNM where you can make your own violin. And he introduced me to Peter White. He's the one that got this whole thing started. And then um, in 2015, once he retired, the program was going to be shut down. And the students and I had to fight really hard to keep it going. No weight at all in this one, just kind of shift no weight. the weight to this one and move it back and forth. So we have students from all different majors and backgrounds. We've had students um, from music, of course, from engineering, English, philosophy. There's a long and rich history of violin playing in the Southwest, so we learned some of those traditional tunes. Here's some of the students' work, um, all pretty typical examples of what you'll see coming out of this shop. Over here, one of the students opted to do a, um, a horse scroll rather than a traditional design. It typically takes students four to six semesters to make a complete violin. Um, this particular student, I think he's been in the program for about three years, and uh, he's just hours away from finishing. UNM is the only university in the country that has a program like this where you can make your own violin that you get to keep and, and learn how to play. It's an incredibly unique and rewarding experience. Mm -hmm.